Okay. Not only does my computer hate me, but I am starting to hate my computer. Because that is like four lockups in probably the last, I don't know, five, ten minutes. So, um. Okay, I see a red line over there that means there's an enemy. It's a ghoul. And there you are. Missed. Hit him. And I tapped him. And that is Bloody Mess. That is the fun of Bloody Mess. You tap him and boom, their body explodes. Actually, you know, I kind of gave Dogmeat a bad rap at first and said he wasn't very useful, but he's been tanking damage pretty well, so... And you have just gotten to see a excellent, excellent display of bloody mess. You tap them in the head, and everything explodes into gory fun. Um, okay. The way you're supposed to know where to go is to buy these, um markings you see, the silver marking, it's the Brotherhood of Steel and it points you where to go and it says right here Mall Outpost this way so that's where we're heading uh, we're heading to the Mall which is where the Smithsonian is located um, so yeah uh, oh, okay was actually not expecting that, so that kind of freaked me out a little bit. Kill him? Aha! Okay. Uh -huh, bloody mess. Wonderful. Okay. I don't have any more vats at this point. But you see that it only takes three or four shots to take down a super. Which is excellent, because it, you know. You'll be fighting super mutants from now until the very end of the game. And so, it's very nice to be able to take them out quickly. Um, the the brutes and such, they, they take a little longer. But it's nothing that you can't handle. And once your levels, or not your levels, but once your weapons get a little stronger, uh, they aren't that much of a problem either. Um, we got ourselves a, a barricade. Oh, we got raiders. Let's take him out. And he... Okay, well, dog meat killed him. So I take back everything I said. Everything I said about dog meat. He's a nice guy. Good dog. And, uh, railway spikes and flamer fuel. Um, most, uh,. Even if you don't use the gun, pick up the ammo. For one, it doesn't carry weight, so it's like free money. And two, you never know when you're gonna. Oh, okay. Shoot you in the leg. Missed him. I and dog meat owned again. Okay, one, that is like two dog meat and zero me. So right now, dog meat's making me look bad. Um, yeah, so, okay, we got, uh, some more ammo. I am actually excited about this, let's see. I can't do that. Oh, I think we've got turrets over here that I can't see. There they are. Alright, I hate to say it, but dog meat might actually die. Well, okay, I keep saying dog meat's gonna die, and then he doesn't, which is surprising for me, but go dog meat, kill him. He just gives him a bite. But I also am noticing that the, uh, the stuff that dog meat kills, I am not getting experience from, so that whether he's killing them or not is pro a problem. Okay, and I'm shooting her, but I'm falling. And look at that. How was that? that was called? That was like a drop shot. That was uh, the power of vats. 
And so now, you see... Okay. Yeah, um... Alright, it's too dangerous here. Go wait for me at Vault 101. You heard me get out of here. Um, not that he's not doing a good job, because he's doing an excellent job, but... I want to get the experience for these kills, so... I can't have him, you know... Janking my experience. And janking is a very... Technical term. It's, uh... How you say stealing? And and fun. Okay, that was an odd jump. And uh, pretty much, I mean, we're just kind of pushing through here. Uh, there's ghouls and oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There's mines. Oh, okay. We well, see this. There's a. You might not be able to see it, but there's a tripwire here that goes all the way across. And I will activate it. Let's see, disarm the tripwire. And I have disarmed the tripwire now. And yeah, what would have happened is these grenades right here uh, would have dropped and exploded, which is never, you know, you never want. Okay, this is. I know this is going to sound sad. This is a tip number four. Uh, we are. At the point at where I'm you know, really tired of fighting these two raiders. Um, um, let's heal up. And stim packs. I'm going to go ahead and uh, repair up some stuff to make room in my inventory. And yeah. Okay, so we're taking care. We've taken care of those two. I'm gonna loot them. Take that. Frag grenades, stem packs. Empty. She has nothing on her. At least that I want. And yeah, so that's that. Um, I am not going to, uh, wander, uh, I'm going to go specifically where I want to go, and finish this, this, uh, tunnel as quickly as possible. This seems to be a haven for the lockups. And I, it's not just one thing that's locked it up. If it was just, you know, I've locked up in the middle of a fight, in the middle of vats, and just about anything. Um, but enough of me complaining about that. Uh, I, uh, I do want to apologize. Earlier today, I was informed that one of my videos, uh, there was a rendering error, and it actually rendered the same part and put it at the end of one of my videos so uh... that has been resolved that was i believe that was on part eleven and i see a goal there so as soon as i get out of here i want to uh... deal with him and there i'm going to use this as an elevated position to fire on these ghouls and they honestly when you're above them like this they don't always know exactly what to do they just run around which is fine with me at this point um, so if you can find an elevated position on pure melee guys the uh, the enemies will not know what to do and they'll kinda just run around so it gives you free reign to shoot them um, so yeah it's definitely something worth keeping up are using. Okay, we got vicious dogs, and they are headless and annoying. 
Okay. Whoa, there are a bunch of them. Okay, I'm... Yeah, let them in fight. Down. That's what I was afraid of. I knew I was gonna run into something. One more shot, and that's dead. Okay, 